This video is for educational purposes only. All the attacks that were performed in this uh, video was performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. We have used virtual machines on an isolated private network to carry out these attacks. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and does not support any malicious hacking activities. Please keep in mind hacking systems is a cyber crime and will land you in prison if you misuse any of these tools on systems for which you don't have permission. So please use all these tools wisely. Let's move on to the demonstration now. Hello and welcome back to another session on cyber security. In this session, we're going to take a look at a password recovery tool by name Opcrack. So I have my Kali Linux running on Oracle VirtualBox. So let me go to the menu and then search for this tool by name Opcrack, O-P-H-C-R-A-C-K. So let me start this tool. So what is the use of this tool? This is a password recovery tool and what kind of uh, passwords it can recover. See, when I click on load, I get an option to load a single hash. So this tool gets the input as an hash and then it will be able to crack the plain text password corresponding to that hash. So what kind of hashes can be given as an input? We can give LM hash to be an input. When I say lm hash, you take a string, use this hash function lm hash to hash it to get the hash string. Now we'll take the hash string and when we give that as an input here, it will crack and find out the plain text password. Like that, I can also feed in an empty hash, a string or a password that has been hashed using empty hash. We can supply that specific hash string to get the plain text password here. So this tool uses uh, rainbow tables for cracking the hashes. Before even starting to work with this tool, we should understand what is an LM hash and what is an NT hash, how these two hashes are different. And then we'll come to this specific tool and then we'll start using it. So let's uh, take a look at what is an LM hash and what is an NT hash. So LM hash, also known as uh, LAN manager hash. So let me select the pen option here. First, we'll take a look at LM hash. So LM hash, the main uh, um, characteristic is the password is case insensitive. Say the uh, working of an LM hash is you give the password, say if ABC is given as an input, the password is connect is converted to uppercase. So the input that you're giving is considered to be case insensitive. And the password can be maximum 14 characters. So maximum how many characters you can give here? 14 characters. So this is given as an input to an LM hash. And LM hash actually converts that to an hash string. So what is the uh, algorithm behind LM hash? Say if you're giving 14 characters as the input, what LM hash does is it splits, it, uh, splits these 14 characters into two halves of seven characters each. So 14 characters is split into two halves of seven characters each. And um, if your password is not 14 characters, say if it is only uh, 12 characters, then what it's going to do is it's going to split that into six characters each and it's going to add null characters at the end to make it seven characters. So null characters will be padded if the password is less than 14 characters. Let's consider the input password is 14 characters and uh, it has been split into two equal halves, seven characters each. So after splitting that into two equal halves, what is that we are doing here is each half is converted to bits. So we are converting those uh, seven characters to bits and after every seven bits, we'll add a parity bit uh, that is zero. So the result would be 64 bits uh, key for each half. So for this half, after adding the parity bit, we'll get a 64 bit key. For this half, we'll get another 64 bit key. So what is it we are doing here is we are passing the 64 bit key to a data encryption standard algorithm which encrypts the string so you get uh, uh, you encrypt the string and then you get an result say i call that result to be r1 likewise you take the remaining seven characters you generated that 64 bit uh, key 
you give that to des actually what des does is it takes a fixed string it uses the 64 bit key it encrypts that and then you get result r2 so des algorithm what it does is it's an encryption algorithm takes this 64 bit as a key and then it uses a fixed string encrypts that gives result 1 64 bit key encrypts that gives that as result 2 so r1 plus r2 will be your final output that's it so what are the characteristics of an lm hash it's case insensitive maximum 14 characters if the password length is less than 14 characters null characters will be added at the end and uh, if in case you supplied uh, 14 characters let's say it's uh, divided into two equal halves of seven characters from these seven character halves uh, 64 uh, bit key is generated and this 64 bit key is passed as an input to the des algorithm which then uses a fixed string and the 64 bit key for encryption so we get result one likewise the other half is also encrypted using that 64 bit key and a fixed string to get result two combination of these two results will be your final output for your lm hash so this uh, hash uh, function was easy to crack uh, and uh, they discontinued this in windows vista and uh, later systems so lm hash uh, is an outdated hash then came this hash called nt hash or the new technology hash so in nt hash we are not converting or we are not getting the input and converting it into two halves nothing like that we are taking the entire input say this is case sensitive so we are not converting that to uppercase or anything like that say if the user enters a password as password the entire string is converted to unicode and the unicode format and then this unicode uh, characters are encrypted using the md4 hash algorithm say they are actually hash using the md4 hash so that's an nt hash we have some variations to this nt hash in the later versions they were uh, using a uh, salt random salt uh, with the input uh, password say and then they were hashing it uh, so that uh, to to actually prevent a predefined input uh, leading to a predefined output so salt was also included in the later versions of the nt hash so nt and lm hashes uh, are used for uh, windows passwords so this is actually used was used lm hashes were used uh, with uh, windows uh, uh, password hashing strategy and uh, this got discontinued uh, with windows vista and later versions and uh, they came out with nt hash so nt hash is uh, this specific hash which converts things to unicode and then uses md4 and there are, there are other versions to nt hash as i told you using salt with nt hash again rehashing after uh, giving the salt as an input so windows actually stores all the user accounts uh, hashed passwords in a database called sam database what is the sam database it is a secure accounts manager so if you go to your windows system uh, if you go to your c drive and you go to windows uh, and inside that you have this uh, system 32 folder it's system 32 and inside that you have this uh, sam file what is this uh, sam file going to contain it's going to contain the hashed uh, passwords of your user accounts say for a windows system you can have many user accounts and uh, the user accounts uh, password will be hashed and then it will be stored in the sam database which is present in windows uh, system 32 inside the c drive it's a uh, windows system 32 inside config folder you'll have the sam database so it's c windows system 32 config I hope you all have understood what is an LM hash and an NT hash. Now let's go to the tool. Let's see how we can use this tool for cracking LM and NT hashes. So let me log into Kali Linux. So here I should be loading a single hash.
let's uh, try a single hash let's load an lm hash so for this uh, what i did was uh, i i just search for lm hash generator online okay so it's actually online <laughs> so here we have an lm ntlm hash generator online wherein we can give some password say for instance abc is my input password and when I say calculate hashes, it calculates the LM and NTLM hashes for me. So I can copy this uh, hash string, which is an output of my LM hash. Then I go to uh, Kali Linux. Here I have my opcrack tool. So I can load my LM hash. So this is the hash corresponding to the password ABC. And now I can click on OK. So now this is the hash I have loaded. I should be able to crack it. So before uh, even cracking it, I should uh, be installing some tables called rainbow tables for this tool to work. So when I click on tables, uh, I should be installing some tables. I've already installed this XP free small. So there are some pre-built tables called rainbow tables, which comes with pre-computed hashes. So using this pre-computed hashes, I'll be able to crack the password at a faster phase. So I should be installing these tables. So for that, when I click on install, it will be asking uh, for that specific file on uh, rainbow table. See, this is the file that we should download. So where we can get this file is uh, we can uh, go to your browser and you can search for opcrack rainbow tables and uh, the first link you can click. And here uh, you have uh, all these rainbow tables available for you for download. So I have downloaded this XP free small, which is of 380 MB. And uh, you should have those files in your Kali Linux so that you can select and uh, you can. I have already selected that once when you have installed that, that specific option will be turning green. So it is enabled. You have to enable that option and click on OK. So this step is very important. You should be loading the uh, rainbow tables before cracking the password or else it's not going to work. See, when you click on tables, if everything is in red, it's not going to work. So first you, uh, you download and install the rainbow tables. And uh, we have loaded the LM hash. The next step is we click on crack. You see, immediately we got what the password is. This is the LM hash and then the password for our LM hash is ABC. That's it. We have cracked it. We have recovered the password using opcrack tool. Uh, we can try uh, loading an NT hash too. See, we have an NT hash. Let's try loading an NT hash. So for that, uh, let me uh, go back to my generator. I have an NT hash here. Copy this. Let's uh, go back to our tool and now what I will do is I will paste my NT hash so colon and then paste that NT hash. That's because uh, we can give an L LM hash colon NT hash since I am just uh, pasting an NT hash I'm just giving colon and an NT hash. So it's okay. Uh, maybe the first one I'll delete it. So this is the NT hash. Now it says it's an NT hash. And uh, what we'll do is we'll select that and click on crack. So immediately you're able to see NT password is ABC. In the earlier version, the LM password was uh, shown in capital letters because it converts the lowercase letters to capital letters. Here uh, in NT hash, uh, it's not um, uh, case insensitive. So you see the password available as ABC, that's the NT password. So we are able to recover our uh, passwords. Uh, that we uh, hashed using LM hash and NT hash using rainbow tables and opcrack tool. So what other options you have? Let me stop it. Uh, you can directly give the hashes like that or else you can click on single hash. You can give a combination of LM hash colon NT hash. So what does that mean is you go to the rainbow table. I mean you go to this uh, hash generator First, you're going to give this uh, hash. So we're going to give the LM hash colon and then you're going to copy the NT hash. So here we have this NT hash. We'll copy this and then we'll uh, paste it here. So now let's uh, click on OK. 
So now you see, let's me delete the first uh, option which we have already cracked. So now you see LM hash and this is the NT hash. Both the hashes are loaded and now we can crack both the hashes. So LM hash, it converts that password to a caps and it uh, you see ABC plain text password is recovered. NT password ABC, the password is also recovered. So this option load single hash, we can crack an LM hash and an NT hash together. So there is uh, other things we can do like we can uh, load a file containing the password dump file. So what is the um, uh, format of the password dump file for that let me go to a terminal here. I've already created this password dump file. Let me uh, zoom. So I have created this password dump file sudo nano passwin.txt. So that's the file. Let me enter the root password. So here again, the same strategy I followed. First, I am giving the LM hash colon NT hash. So like that, we can have uh, as many hashes as records in the file. And let me come out of the file. Let's go to the tool now. Let me delete this uh, previous thing that we have cracked. Let me load a file. So password dump file. So it's going to ask for the password dump file. Let's go to the home directory click on this uh, password file which i have created passwin.txt select that file so this is loading the hashes from the passwin.txt uh, file and you see lm hash and nt hash got loaded select this and click on crack and uh, wait for it to crack so here i have used uh, different uh, hashes here see the lm hash corresponds to password and uh, the hash corresponding to NT, the plain text corresponding to NT hash is actually password. So I have uh, used the same online generator uh, tool. I have and uh, I was able to calculate the hashes. So I have included those hashes in the input file. And uh, that's what you're seeing here. We are getting the plain text as password for the LM hash and password for the NT hash. So there are other uh, things that we can do. We can load a session file. We can also load this encrypted SAM. That's what I was talking to you about. There is this uh, SAM database available in your Windows uh, uh, machines. So if you, that's what I told you. If you go to your C drive, Windows, System32 folder, inside config, you have the SAM database, which which actually has the hashed uh, passwords of your user accounts for uh, Windows. So you can very well supply that specific uh, file here as input, and then you can very well try uh, cracking the passwords. See, this will be this will crack those passwords uh, only when it, when your Windows system is an outdated system using an LM hash or an NT hash. So I'm not showing you how to crack uh, the SAM files. Um, I will leave it. Uh, I leave the task for your own reference. So with that, we have come to an end of this session. We have understood so many things here. First, we have understood what is LM hash, the algorithm behind it. We understood what is NT hash, the key differences between LM and NT hashes. And then we moved on to this tool of crack. We understood what we need for running this tool. We need the hashes the output hash values and then we need uh, the rainbow tables for cracking the passwords and i've shown you a demo on how to crack an lm hashed password and an nt hashed password using rainbow tables on opcrack so that's it for this session if you have any questions you can leave those questions as comments below i'll be answering to your comments i hope you all had a good session on opcrack thank you i hope you all enjoyed